So Gib, research is now telling us a lot of people are struggling these days to find the motivation to achieve their goals or even uh, just to get out of bed. That's me sometimes. Yeah, every day. Let alone exercise or eat healthy or pick up a new skill. So there is a word that uh, a lot of these guys that you've had in the podcast have talked about this, men and women. Uh, there's a word that can be a game changer, and that is the simple word, why. As in, why do I want to get out of bed, right. get dressed, and work hard today? What is my why? Your why is your sense of purpose. And a new survey, check this out. Three million Inc. Magazine readers confirms it's the top factor in keeping people motivated. But now re researchers also say the flip side of the rule is that if you don't know your why and why what, what you're doing, what you do every day, it's almost impossible to stay motivated. In fact, you're going to be more prone to distractions, say the experts and, and social psychologists, because you don't have a reason to stay on track. Yes. So it's, it's pretty simple. It's not actually not simple because it, sometimes you can't find your why, and, sure. but you have to understand that once you do, everything falls in place. There's, so there's two great quotes that, that seem to align with this. One is... If you have your why, you can endure anyhow. Yeah, that's right. Neat, that's Nietzsche. Right. right. So if you if you know what it is that's getting you going uh, in the morning, uh, then then you it, it'll motivate you. It'll 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 keep you going. It doesn't matter how early you have to get up. If you know what your why is, whatever that is, and it, it, if it's because you want to put food on the table for your family, if it's whatever, uh, if you know that why, you can endure anyhow. Yeah, the, um, I mean, I find myself sometimes, well, many times actually throughout, throughout my career, uh, reacting to things, mm -hmm. right? right? And so, yeah, you know, and I'll go down a roll. So, okay, this is, I see this person is doing that. So, or maybe I should record this type of music or, right. or, or do this. And I get caught up in, in, in that, right? If you chase it, trends, then you're just right. chasing trends. You're always going to be late. If right. you go for something, right. if you have a sense of purpose that you want to put out into the world, if it's an artistic pursuit and there's something that you have to say, that's that's the most powerful thing, is is when you have something to say. Even if what you have to say is stupid, if you have something to say, it's going to resonate with at least some people, especially stupid people. So like, <laughs> you're you're gonna have if if art is your thing, having a sense of what you're saying. I mean, there's there's a reason why Britney Spears resonates across multiple cultures, and it's not because her message is so amazing and complex and uh, important. It's because she, for whatever it is, she had her why when yeah, she was coming yeah, up and, and yeah, it resonated yeah. with people. Yeah. The, other, the other quote that I want to put out there is, no wind is a fair wind for a sailor who doesn't know his destination. You, if you don't know where you're going, there is nothing that will be motivating and pushing you forward because you don't, if you don't know where you're going, there's no fair wind. There's nothing that's going to get you there right, right. because you don't know where you're going. You know, one of the things I've seen uh, lately too is, is uh, and, and again, uh, the Give Gerard podcast where you uh, you inter interview a lot of deep thinkers. And, and, That's and, the and point. A, and a lot, of, right? And a lot of strategists, and and, and a lot of what I'm seeing now. And in fact, uh, there's a great book that I'm always quoting. I, I quoted in my book. Uh, the book is called "Steal Like an Artist" mm -hmm. by Austin Kleon, and and it's actually it's actually a great way to find your why because sure. it's like, oh, I don't know my story, but but if you look, if you start decoding, like. It's amazing. I, I just, uh, we're, we're about halfway through the PBS special on Benjamin Franklin. Mm -hmm. I can't believe I never, it's a Ken Burns thing, right? So Connie and I have been watching this thing and it's like, he had a why. He kept, he, he would get one why and then he would, he would accomplish that and then move on to the next one and then the next yeah. one and yeah. then the next one. Yeah. And you know who's like that too is, is Lin-Manuel Miranda. I, not who, ironically. I mean, he, he's, that's, that's his MO. Hamilton. Yeah. 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 So I, th I think that, it's, I mean, what would be your personal strategy what well, your advice for people who are oh. trying to find their why? all right so you say steal like an artist so here's what you're going to do uh you're going to figure out the art that resonates with you and now a lot of people make a mistake and this is the mistake they they, they go out there they, they know they have good taste and they can appreciate something uh and particularly in the performing arts when you see that you go oh if i appreciate it then i know that i could recreate it i could do it right so the reality is you probably can't and you're gonna you're gonna be bad at it for a while but the first thing you need to do is find and collect all of the stuff that resonates with you and then make homages and remakes and everything. And by the way, this is what the biggest, most popular, most critically acclaimed directors are doing right now. Everybody loves The Hunger Games. Well, guess what? There was a film called, uh, um, uh, what was it called? Uh, Battle Royale that is basically The Hunger Games that predates right, right. all of The Hunger Games yeah, stuff. And yeah, it's yeah. about teenagers who, uh, who are forced to fight each other to the death in the same way that Hunger Games is. The point is, all art is derivative. What you need to do is figure out the art that speaks to you, and then you begin to take down why, 
And, and I think you worry less about the message that you're trying to convey and more about the, I want to make art that makes other people feel the way that this art makes me feel. And then you just start copying it and, and making changes and copying it and making changes. I mean, like, like, let's take a great example. There's that movie, um, uh, the movie that uh, I think it's called Eight Millimeter that J.J. Uh, Abrams did, which is about a bunch of kids or su no Super Eight, Super Eight, right, where they right. um, where they where it's a bunch of kids with a camcorder that they catch an alien invasion, right. and it's basically J.J. Abrams' remake of E.T. Right, he's just making E.T. but he's making it his way, right. and it, Super Eight's a great movie. The point is like he just took what motivated him as a kid and he made it into something. That, uh, that made him millions of dollars. Like So uh, what you need to do is you need to find the stuff that got you going, the stuff that made you get out of bed as a kid, because kids don't have a hard time getting out of bed. Yeah. It's not until you become a teenager and adolescent and peer pressure and all that stuff you know, whittles you down to the, the dried husk of adulthood. And when, it's, when you're a kid, you're popped. You're ready to go. You're, you know, you're, 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 you're excited. What was the thing that made you excited? What yeah, was the show yeah, or yeah, the, exactly. and for me, I'm, I'm obviously I'm relating this to television movies and the arts. Cause that's, that's what gets me going. But like, you know, whatever that is, was when you were growing up, did you like to hear Steve Jobs speak? All right. Was it about right. him speaking and what he created that got under your skin and made you want to create also? And that's what Steve Jobs did, by the way. He studied and he studied people and their motivations in, in, um, in India, and then he came back and he studied calligraphy and art at uh, yep, at, at yep, Reed, yep. and uh, and then he applied that and added fonts. I mean, computers didn't have fonts, but because he studied calligraphy, computers had fonts, and it changed it changed everything. The so. other thing, and the other thing you can do too, and, and I mean, uh, this this works for me lately because you know, having gone through uh, you know a battle of, uh, of, uh, against cancer that began in 2015, mm -hmm. and then all the modalities that they hit mm -hmm. you with and treatments, you know, and and just sort of did what was what I was going through was shrinking my body, mm -hmm. you know, and so I had to go back as old as I am. I had to go back and figure out my why for for exercise. Yeah, and so and this sounds really creepy, but they're like they're. <laughs> I won't tell you who they are, but like there are two or three action heroes. Mm -hmm. right? One of them, they're not, and, and not one of them is the Rock. But, but, <laughs> that's but, my guy. Not not attainable. <laughs> yeah. But but that was that's been my why for getting in the gym, where I actually have I have those in, in, in my bathroom because I have a gym in the house now, mm -hmm. of course. But uh, not, not of course, but I just have a gym in the house. <laughs> we got we got it, John. <laughs> we got it. But anyway, uh, well, I guess one of them is Jason Statham. Right, because Jason Statham is he's 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 not like he's not twenty five years old. No, nope. you can tell that the guy just has to work his butt off, mm -hmm. and so that so my why is I want to get closer to that. But it, it could be you know why do why but do it you needs want to be it needs to be more than that. Like you need so yes, that's that's who you want to look like. That's your goal, and that's right. that's right, right. and you want to, you're going to the gym because you, you want just, to get there. You, you, you need to why do you want to look like that? Right, why exactly. why do you want to look like him or Hugh right, Jackman right, right. or some of these guys who have maintained? Right. A, a powerful and strong physique for until they their career. I'll, I'll tell you why. Because, and this is not about cardio at all. Because whenever I lift a weight that's too heavy for me and and get through it, mm -hmm. it releases some sort of magic potion. Yep. I guess it's also known as serotonin uh -huh. or dopamine or the rest of that stuff. So anyway, and human growth hormone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, HGH, yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. But I guess my 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 point is that that uh, if you don't know what your why is, really, and you said it, you need to explore it. And the other thing that, that, that I'm seeing a lot of research on now is that people are researching too much and they're getting, they're, they're getting caught. There's so many ways to do research. Information paralysis. It, it, there it is. Yeah. There it is. It, it, you have to actually turn something in. Yes. You gotta make something. Yes, and, and by the way, you can find, you know, the, the, the internet gives us access to all of the world's information uh, at, 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 in our pocket everywhere we go. Right. And it's actually made us dumber and less active, right. which is right. crazy, right? right. Yeah. Uh, but you, you can just look up on the go. You can look up anything you want. To, and you realize that there is, there is something to an argument to be made to support so many different perspectives. And the only way to really figure out what the truth is for you is to actually go out there and do the thing. Right. So yeah. uh, there's a lot of stuff. At, at the level that you can do it. Right. There's yeah. a lot of stuff about, we can, we're, we'll, we'll go to physique, which is what you brought up. There's a lot of stuff out there about, you know, macros. Like, should you have a high fat diet? Right. Should you have right. a low fat diet? Do you need more complex carbohydrates? Do you need more protein? How much protein do you need? Uh, there are a lot of papers and a lot of trainers and nutritionists who can tell you opposing information about all of that. Maybe keto is for you. Maybe intermittent right. fasting right. is for you. Right. It depends on the person. It depends on what's going to work for you. Maybe weight training is what you need to do. Maybe endurance cardio is what you need to do. I mean, I, I've run marathons. You've run marathons. That's a different kind of, of ethic of working out than getting to the gym and lifting for an hour. It's a and different mindset. Yeah, and that's also, when we were talking about uh, finding your why, 
it can also be for a, for a short term goal. You know, um, gosh, it must have been like I don't know, maybe eight nine years ago. I went to my uh, bass player and, and your friend too, Tim mm-hmm. Tim Landers, and I said, you know, Tim, I really I've always wanted to 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 do big band music. Right. He goes, we'll do it. And I said, well, I've never. I mean, there's first of all, there's too many jazz chords in there, and I'm not a singer. And he goes, listen. You can the the range that's that's that you have a pretty good voice, John, mm-hmm. and the range is not like being a pop singer. He said, right. "A," he said, "B," you can learn. You know, don't learn jazz chords. Just learn how to play the chords that you need to need to play. Right. So I'm like, okay. So my why is I re- I want to release a big band album. And sure. He goes, yeah. So he <laughs> he goes, and then and then pick a release date and book a concert. I'm like, what? <laughs> he goes, yeah. And, and this is great advice, yeah, right? It's so, great. So pick pick a release date. What's the release date? Oh, okay, August. Okay, August. That's six months from now. I think. You, okay, that that's it. We're locking it in. And then the tour is going to be uh, in in the in the fall. Yeah. And so and, we and booked that whole thing. I was screwed. I had to. <laughs> I big had to band is not a light tour. Big <laughs> band is big band. There's a lot of pieces. That's yeah. three buses. Yeah. But the point is, it, it's and you you've said this a lot. Kid, is act act as if. Yes. When you have that why, and it doesn't have to be a why for the rest of your life either. That's the other thing. Mm-hmm. You know, it could be a why for a short term goal. It's why I like <laughs> why I like marathons. You know, marathons are all of that. There's a race. It's a set date. People love that. You have People to train for it. And, 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 and you'll learn a lot about marathons, yourself. marathons, 10Ks, all that yes. stuff. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, but, but work up to the marathon. It's a, um, it's a great way to learn about yourself and learn about what motivates you because it is, uh, you know, so uh, I recommend if you would like to learn this about yourself, here's an, uh, and maybe not, this is not for everybody. Not everybody uh, is going to be able to necessarily finish a marathon at this point in your life. I don't know how old you are what your health status is, um, but 90% of you can do it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Pick a marathon, train for it, and the best thing you could do is pick a charity that is associated with that marathon. And you've got a why. And raise money for yep. the charity, and yep. that's your why to complete it. And I'm, I promise you, I, you and I have talked about this before, 18 miles of running is, uh, is physically exerting. To go from the 18th mile to the 26th mile yes. is all mental. Uh, if you can run 18 miles, I promise you, you are physically fit enough to run 26 miles. Uh, the, the, the question is, do you have the mental fortitude to put one foot in front of the other and finish that marathon? That will teach you so much about yourself. And then once you learn that about yourself, you can apply it to anything. And so we'll finish off with, uh, give us Nietzsche's line again. Oh, uh, uh, if, if you have your why, you can endure anyhow. Yeah.